Welcome back guys. I hope all is well at your end. Excel has multiple functionalities and we have been using it. Today I'm going to share with you a functionality which can be very helpful in converting different measurements to other units. For example, kilometers to miles, um, kilograms to pounds, or centigrades to Fahrenheit. Usually we use our um, Internet Explorer kind of uh, interface to go on the internet and find the conversion of these kind of um, measurements uh, or we use different apps in our mobile phones and sometimes we use our own formulas which we do remember and then we convert certain numbers to others. So good news for us and fortunately for all of us that there is a functionality in Excel which assists us in converting all these kind of conversions Two other ones. So I will use this uh, D6 as my text, test mouse and I will put a figure here, just a number, and let's convert it. So let's assume this 40 is um, kilometers and I would like to have miles here. So how will I do that? Is equal to convert, C-O-N-V-E-R-T, that is the syntax of this functionality. I'm assuming it for you, C-O-N-V-E-R-T, convert, parenthesis started. The moment you start parenthesis, Excel is asking for a number, what number you want to convert. So the answer is D6. So you selected, comma, I will go for, let's say miles, I mean from kilometers to miles. So KM, okay, uh, comma, miles. So for miles, MI, there you go, 24.8 miles. This is the answer, which is the correct answer. So we are able to convert kilometers to miles. Let's try another one. Let's uh, give another number here in D7 and from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Let's make this conversion now. Now, this is another interesting conversion and here I will explain another uh, kind of functionality of this function uh, or attribute of this function is equal to convert, as I said, starting parenthesis. I give the number this time, it's D7 because this is the test number for centigrade to Fahrenheit. So I will put a capital C Bear in mind, capital C and a capital F from centigrade to Fahrenheit. And you can see it has converted very well. Now, maybe you notice that I've emphasized on capital C and F. Why? Because in this particular functionality, we need to have capital C and F. What if I don't have capital C and capital F as I did here? I will not be able to get this conversion. There you go. You can see that. Why? Now, the answer to this question is there are functionalities in this particular function which are dependent on the attribute of the text. So in this case, for example, we have to have capital. So these all functionalities are case sensitive. I will show you down there. You can see multiple are capital as well. So whenever you select any of these, make sure that you follow as it is advised here in this particular, for example, you can see the cent C degree Celsius, it is capital C. So that is why I will suggest to use this. So beyond the three examples or two examples I've shared here, there are multiple examples that you can use for your formulas or functions as per your requirements. I hope you like this useful functionality in Excel and uh, I hope also that you will comment in the comment section for some new functionalities that you would like to understand, some problems or issues that you would like um, me to comment on or your fellows to comment on. Please do that and uh, do share these videos with your, with your friends, with your colleagues around. I wish you all the very best and just stay in tune. Bye-bye.